In this video, I will be talking about two clean energy stocks that I feel have huge potential for 2023 and beyond. Both companies are still in very early stages and heading towards commercialization. These companies have patented technology and contracts with major world leading companies. The first of these companies could be a game changer, so let's get straight into it and talk about Aduro Clean Technologies. Aduro Clean Technologies is a Canadian developer of patented water based technologies to chemically recycle plastics and transform heavy crude and renewable oils into feedstocks that can be used in production of new plastics and transportation fuels. Aduro has currently applied their technology to three major markets to chemically recycle waste plastics, convert heavy crude and bitumen into lighter, more valuable oil, and transform renewable oils into higher value fuels or renewable chemicals. Now, with this type of technology, it is always important to have actual patents and have the technology reviewed and validated. Aduro's technology has been reviewed and tested internally and externally by various industry leaders. The technology has been independently reviewed and validated by a reputable third party, Dr. Paul Carpentier, is a professor in the Department of Chemical and Biochemical Engineering and Mechanical and Materials Engineering at Western University and much, much more. And Aduro do have several patents on their technology and also one patent pending. So after ensuring that the technology and the commercial applications are scientifically sound and its IP is well protected, the company is beginning to advance full speed ahead to scale its applications. The big thing about this company is the size of the potential market that they will obtain as well as the massive partnership that the company has already succeeded in gaining. Partnerships with some of the world's leading companies. Now this is a company with a tiny market cap. Aduro is currently valued at less than $40 million but it is rising significantly in recent months. The stock's 52 week low is only 27 cents, but Aduro has hit a 52 week high of 86 cents. Now the current price is 66 cent, but we can see here that the stock is on the up and moving nicely in this upward channel. And just as of today, this has hit the support level once more and is ready to move up again with Aduro now moving towards being oversold on the RSI. Now I said a moment ago that Aduro had secured valuable partnerships and these include a partnership with Switch Energy and a partnership with Prospera Energy in Canada as well as with Camelot Innovation and Learning Labs Chill in the Netherlands with the aim to optimize its next generation chemical recycling platform and to accelerate the company's path to commercialization. But Aduro has also been selected by Shell. Yes, one of the world's largest energy companies, Shell, to take part in their Shell Game Changer program. Following a rigorous selection process, Aduro has been selected by the Shell Game Changer program to apply its HCT technology. Now the stock did drop this week, but that is due to a small dilution to secure funding of just $2.5 million. Now, as we can see here, this is at a price of 93 cents, but this is Canadian, which converts to 67 US cents which is the exact price that the stock has dropped to now. So this is not some sweetheart deal. They have paid the same price per share that any retail investor would pay right now. And as part of this deal, there are warrants that are exercisable at $1.30 as long as the stock trades above 160 or more for 10 consecutive days. So that is $1.16 US, which is nearly 100% above the current price. I have been watching Aduro Clean Technologies for more than a year now and I am as bullish as ever on this company. So guys, what do you think of Aduro Clean Technologies? Are you bullish on this stock? Have you even heard of this stock before? If you enjoy my videos and want me to keep creating regular updates, then can I ask you to smash the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss out on any new content. Jivo Incorporated is a renewable chemicals and advanced biofuels company. Focused on sustainability, Jivo addresses the market need for reducing greenhouse gas emissions with sustainable alternatives and is commercializing the next generation of biofuels with diesel, gasoline and jet fuel that have the potential to achieve zero carbon emissions. Jivo uses low carbon renewable resource-based carbohydrates as raw materials and is developing renewable electricity and renewable natural gas for use in production processes, resulting in low carbon fuels with substantially reduced carbon intensity and substantially reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Jivo believes that its proven patented technology enables the use of a variety of low carbon sustainable feedstocks to produce price competitive low carbon products. 
In addition to addressing the problems of fuels, Jivo's technology also enables certain plastics such as polyester to be made with more sustainable ingredients. Once Jivo get their facilities into full flow, they can start supplying and fulfilling contracts that they already have agreed. These are major contracts with some of the world's biggest companies. Just look at deals like this that they have already signed and are just waiting for Jivo to be able to produce. Iberia Airlines, which is Spain's national airline, 6 million gallons per year for 5 years. Qatar Airways, one of the world's two biggest airlines, 5 million gallons per year for 5 years, and these are just the latest contracts. Alaska Airlines, 37 million gallons per year for 5 years. America Airlines, 100 million gallons per year. Aer Lingus, 6 million gallons. Finnair, 7 million gallons. Japan Air, 5 million gallons per year. Then there is the deals with Delta Airlines and One World Alliance for 75 million gallons per year and 200 million gallons per year. As you can see, these are all major, major contracts with not just major airlines, but a lot of these airlines tend to be their country's national airlines. These are companies that tend to have state ownership or at least semi-state ownership and do massive due diligence before signing any contracts with suppliers. These are massive contracts. Between these deals, there is approximately 500 million gallons per year from just the contracts that I have mentioned. And as we can see here, the Delta Airlines agreement is valued at approximately $2.8 billion of revenue over the seven years. $2.8 billion. And yet this is only a small fraction of the overall contracts that the company has signed. Like with many of the biggest companies in the world, it takes years and years before they ever get to production and this has been the case for Jivo. Now the bad news is that Jivo are still several years away from being in a position to significantly supply these contracts. But they are not that far away from beginning to supply. With the Net Zero One project set to begin production in 2024. Which means that once again there will be very little revenue this year and they will incur losses once again. When we look at Fintel data, we will see that Jivo has major support from institutional investors, the likes of Vanguard Group, State Street and BlackRock, being the major investors that have been increasing their positions. In fact, looking closer at this, we can see that they own nearly $200 million worth of Jivo stock. So guys, what do you think of that? Are you bullish on either of these two, Ajuro or Jivo in 2023? Or do you think that there are better plays in the clean energy market? If you enjoy my videos, then help me stay alive on YouTube and smash the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you would like to see a more detailed look at Ajuro Clean Technologies. Or of course, if you want to see more about Jivo, then check out this video that I did a few days ago leading up to the most recent earnings report. Where I talk about a few more things in detail, such as a massive government loan that Jivo have applied for. And remember to vote on what video you would like to see next. As always, I do try to respond to all comments and whatever is voted for, I will make a video about. And if you are not a member of the Discord community, then check this out where you can talk to me about any stocks. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.